Hello teachers and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to share what's going to be your favorite Google Classroom tip all year and that is how you close it out and get ready for summer. So you have two options. One is very difficult and one is very easy. So the easy one is what I'm going to lead with. Now the easiest way for you to get ready for the next year and close out this year is you are going to archive your current Google Classroom class whichever one it is. And you can see when you're on your main page here for Google Classroom, if you go down to any one of your classes and you click on the three dots over towards the right of the square, you're gonna have some options. And all the way down at the bottom, you have an option to archive. And so if you hit that, it's going to delete the page from this page, and it's just gonna store all of your files and all the student work in your Google Drive because everything's already there anyway. So that is the easiest way to get rid of your Google Classroom class. But some of you are probably wondering, but why not just keep it for next year? Well, this goes into the hard route. It is difficult to keep for next year because if you keep it, when you have new students, that means you have to delete all the old ones, including deleting all the guardians, which takes a little bit of time, but not much. But then you also have to go in and delete every single announcement. Otherwise, when your new students get populated in, all of those old announcements are there. Additionally, you're going to have to go to every single assignment and make it a draft or change the due dates. Otherwise, all of your current students that you populate for the next school year are going to be missing all of that work. And they're going to see all of those assignments when you probably don't want them to see it. So that's why I advocate for just archive the class. Now, if you're thinking, well, I'm just going to reuse all of the same assignments, though, so I really don't want to create a new one and have to do everything from scratch. Well, there's a couple ways around that. And the easiest way is a new way that Google Classroom added. As you can see here, when you click those three dots, you also have an option to copy the class. And so if you hit copy, it's going to come up and it's going to ask what the name is and by default it's going to be copy of whatever the name already is and you could change all the information but notice it also says that you are creating a new class with copied topics and classwork items but the rosters your students and announcements won't be copied so that's actually a fantastic way if you're going to keep all of the assignments generally the same and all of the due dates are going to be deleted. So when you go into this new class, and I'll show you here, I'm going to hit copy, and it's going to create a new class for me. So this is the copied class. So if I go into the classwork, you're going to see that all of the old assignments have been transferred over. Now, if you have specific topics as well, like you could see one down here is homework, those are going to transfer down as well. You could always edit that and change it as you want, but they are going to copy the topics over too. The only thing it does not copy over are the people. So notice there are no students now. There needs to be a code given so that the students can be enrolled. There's no students. There's no guardians. Also, if I go to the stream page, there's no announcements. So everything was deleted except for the actual class name, which you'll probably rename anyway, or the classwork, right? All of my assignments are right here, but notice they are in gray and it says draft, which is why they're in gray. So everything is transferred over. If you had specific instructions, if you had screenshots or images or files attached to these assignments, they are going to be there, but there's no longer a due date. Now, students, when you do populate them into your class for next year, cannot see anything that's gray. Only you can see what's grayed. Only you can see drafts. Now, the one issue that I have with this is if you've been using Google Classroom for quite a while, and you just copied the class, you probably have a ton of assignments now. And so it is going to make it a challenge for you to organize everything because you're going to have to go through and delete whatever you want to delete. You're going to have to change the due dates and you're going to have to publish them as they come up in your course. So if you want to avoid that, what I recommend is just creating a new Google Classroom from scratch right before the start of next year. Or if your learning management system does it for you, that's fine. But I would Go to the main page in Google, I'd hit on the plus, and then just hit create class. Now, when I do that, it'll create a class just like a copied one. It's the same thing, but there's going to be nothing in it at all. Nothing will transfer over. So some of you are probably thinking, well, I want things to transfer over. Yes, I want to reuse things as well, but a lot of times, looking at everything that's already in there from an old class is overwhelming. So what can you do instead? Well, if you had 
a brand new class, and let's assume that this is brand new. Let's just pretend like this gray stuff isn't here. So this is a new class. If I hit on create, there is a reuse button down towards the bottom right above topic. Now the reuse post allows you to reuse anything from a previous Google Classroom or from a current one. So as you can see, these are all my old Google Classrooms and some of my current ones. And some of these have in parentheses next to it archived. So like my AP literature class is over, so I archived it, but I can still pull from any of these classes assignments that I've used. Now, please note, it is still difficult to find everything if you have a lot. So it is difficult to reuse posts in this way. And that's why I recommend something that I need to start doing better as well. As you can see, I started here is number all of your assignments. You can do it like 12.1, 12.2, or you could number it as some people suggest doing the number sign and then 001, 002. That way it's easier for you to find what you're looking for. So if you do this, you can reuse posts. And what does this accomplish? Well, it allows you to reuse any old assignments that you want to without having all of the assignments already in your drafts. Because as you know, from year to year, you might delete some of the assignments that you don't like anymore. You might add new ones. So all of these great assignments just get in your way. So to recap, what I recommend doing is simply archiving your class by hitting the three dots and then hitting archive, which stores everything in your Google Drive but takes it away from here. And then you have two options. You can hit the three dots and copy your class so that everything transfers over except for students, guardians, announcements, and due dates. Or what you can do is when it's time to create a new class next year, you simply reuse posts from archived classes.